Good morning guys, James here from Sunseeker Southampton down in a very sunny Southampton boat show. Day number two, we're going to have a look around this morning a brand new Sunseeker Manhattan 55. This is boat 357, she's behind me here on the stand. And as it stands, she is currently available. Uh, one of the only few boats we have for the 23 season. She is a brand new 23 model, fresh out of the factory. This beautiful grey hull band. Don't see many boats in coloured hulls these days. That's done in the gel coat from build. And then we have that lovely black boot top stripe just above the anti-fouling line there down on the waterline. Just try and walk down the side so you can take her in. On the side profile, we have of course lots of Manhattan 55 detailing. So the beautiful carbon fibre engine vents here. We'll try and come in on the camera so you can see that high gloss lacquer finish on the vents themselves. This particular one finished with a bimini top up there of course we could retrofit onto this boat a hard top or even a hydraulic bimini option if you so wish just coming around here the other side try and get a shot down there away from the pontoon it's a very very pretty boat um, on the back here we have hydraulic bathing platform that will lift 300 kilos suitable for a williams 325 jet rib we of course have the beach club package as well we'll have a look in a sec on the platform there with the barbecue and shower package Part of the Mediterranean pack, etc. We've got things like the secondary low level cleats down here. We've got some docking winches up in the cockpit. We'll see all of that in a little bit more detail when we step on board. So, very nice to see something with a little bit of colour here on the stand. Most of the boats these days built with a white hull. So, let's jump on and have a better look around. Of course, these sell very well here in the UK. They fit our marinas here, just over 17 metres long and about 4.87 meters in the beam. Powered by a pair of D13 800 horsepower engines. The original 52 Manhattans on this hull powered by 725 horsepower engines. So noticeably faster up onto the plane and carries the speed a little bit better if she's loaded up with a gyro, etc. So stepping on for the first time, as we mentioned, we have the option of the beach club. So this has a cushion to go on top and then the griddle arrangement, this cupboard here, pop this up, we'll store a sea bob in here and then we have the shower, optional crew cabin selected on this particular boat, so here on the transom, we won't go in and we'll have a quick look across, we've got a Siemens washer dryer down there, little crew bathroom at the end, even if you're using this as an owner operator it's a nice place. To come and use facilities when you first jump out of the water, you can see that lovely practical wet room floor. And I can take the single mattress out there and turn this into a storage room if you so wish. Extra cupboards, I can put refrigeration, what have you down there to suit. Now, of course, this whole cockpit area can be enclosed with a canopy arrangement, so the boat is usable then here in the not such nice weather. Coming on, say things like transom gates, very high on the sides here, so the boat complies pretty much out of the box with the majority of requirements for coding if you want to make the boat commercial for charter. Not too much needed in the way of revisions in order to put it to sea for commercial work. Just scanning around the back here, so this is the centerline seating area here in the aft cockpit, opening top teak table there. And low level LED lighting you can see there around the cockpit that also runs all the way down the side decks there and then up in the ceiling here we have the strips and spots all dimmable so you can soften it off in the evening as required. Across here on the port side we have the optional bar stall arrangement so those are removable to give you a little bit more space here around the table if you want to put a couple of director's chairs out then comfy seating for eight adults. Obviously with this lovely converting stone top here this is an upgrade Calcutta stone on there there's an electric window that comes up doors shut and this then encloses at the touch of a button. Lots of videos on the channel of these already, so I'm not gonna go into too many details of how all the features work, uh, but there's plenty of time to come and look at the boat show here. We've got lighting controls here, the option to add a third station control here in the cockpit if so wish. Not fitted on this boat purely as we often get asked to go remote instead, but the option's there and I can retrofit if you need to. Uh, let's take a look up on the sides before we head into the cabin. You'll notice as we come up on here, we have the teak side decks all the way around the boat. We also have poppers around here, that's for the black mesh windscreen 
covers to keep the heat out and a little bit of privacy in the evenings if you've got lights on and then we come up to one of the largest social spaces on the boat here on the foredeck so we have a center line again table with a drop down top infill cushion in here and then these backrests can lift up and down to give you somewhere to sit out and read a book it's a vast space up here lovely um, av system so we've got a sonos performance av pack different zones around the boat we've got lockers underneath the seat cushions here just scanning around single electric anchor winch there upgraded anchor 60 meters of chain on that one it's a good size anchor locker down here we can show you space to store fenders and ropes and what have you as well as the anchor itself protective covers packed for the exterior so these can all be left out when leaving the boat so you don't have to store them all back in the cabins come back down the starboard deck here if you're not so quite sure footed on your feet i can do various retros get asked to put hand stainless handrails on here and a shaped one along the roof structure here so that's all doable for a, an owner if they require uh, so let's head up flybridge rather than a ladder as often seen on boats this size we have these lovely big stairs so it is very straightforward to walk down up forwards or backwards just scan around so you can see how that works nice door there to shut off so if you've got kids up here with you you can make it quite a secure area vast seating area yet another social space on the boat big 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 aft cockpit area here on the flybridge and you can see up behind us there dual vhf aerials and a white radar chair that could all be painted black if you want to do something a bit different we have the upgraded open array simrad broadband radar there and as we mentioned earlier the fixed bimini so this is really designed to be up for most of the season very big heavy duty arms and then the support wires up forward there i can make the whole unit hydraulic to fold like a pram hood or we can upgrade to say to a hard top if you so wish uh, coming across here port side so this is the wet bar this particular boat spec as standard with the sink up here we don't have the griddle as that's obviously on the platform although i could add it if you wish to have two then we have refrigeration and an ice maker in the wet bar this was a really nice upgrade over the 52 manhattans where this was purely just for storage again sonos sit up with the uh, sonance speakers outside here we've got fresh water deck wash system there teak laying here on the flybridge sole really sets the boat off sprawling hitch upgrade on the upholstery so you can see this beautiful bentley stitching and this lovely sort of platinum silver very soft to sit on it is practical you can sit down sun cream what have you does come off and again protective covers package to leave all these out when the boat is in storage so we just come and sit at the upper helm part of the simrad premium pack we have the beautiful isota multifunction steering wheel so this has all the control buttons here for your two 12 inch nss evo 3s screens so these are the current latest generation simrad nav screens we've got larger screen upgrade downstairs as well and these are um, combination ais chart plotter fish finder radar etc all in one very nice to use wireless phone charger over here we've got an autopilot control right by your hands all the usual paraphernalia in terms of switches on board a couple of two and a half inch displays there for the engines proportional bow and stern thruster side power units there's 130 kilo force bow and 100 kilo on the stern i can retrofit and upgrade bigger motors on that as a common request for those that use the boats in all weathers uh, there's a vhf handset that goes in here lenko trim tabs and then the optional zenta joystick system as well for those of you not on boats regularly this is a really nice very intuitive system just takes out the stress of using your throttles a bit of steering and your thrusters in and out of port so i've just got the camera at my absolute eye line here just spin it around so i can show you so you're seeing exactly what i can see it's a great helm great visibility there is a little pop-up acrylic screen that comes out just here behind the compass and that gives you a bit of additional wind protection on the odd day that it's required and if i just stand up to show you from a docking perspective a couple of tours on the channel show what these are like there is great viz i can see all the way there from the stern up to the bow 
I can also see down the stairs here, the back corner of the bathing platform for coming in stern two. And then for those of you that regularly run with canopies up, I would suggest the retro also of a stern docking camera. The bases on the cushions here, these lift up just to give you a little bit more working space on the floor here when you're driving stood up. But all in all, it's a very, very complete helm. There's a little 12 volt phone charger socket there as well for those of you that don't have wireless capability on your phone. And last but no means least, you can see a Sanchin twin beam remote spotlight there up on the forward deck. So let's head back down and carry on inside. One of the most successful boats in the range of say 55s. Hugely popular evolution on what was the fastest growing boat ever built by Sunseeker, the 50, 52 Manhattan. And it's easy to see why. It really does work whether you're coming up from a smaller boat, coming into boats the first time, or even downsizing for something larger. We have the ability to sleep six, main deck galley up here, and with the beautiful glass windows, it is a fantastic place to spend time on the water. So just scanning around here as we come in, over on the starboard side, currently a worldwide shortage of fridges. So we, these are just blanks in here, but you would normally have refrigeration and freezers as well. So you've got the upgrade second refrigeration drawers. These are beautiful stainless steel units in here. Uh, we've got a cupboard in the end, as you'll see here, restoring bits and pieces. Again, I say the Calcutta stone cut into the top there. Nice fiddle rails for a bit of practicality on the corner shelves. And then some little cupboards in the corners here. Coming across opposite, a revision on the 52 galley arrangement. We now have the return on the bar top here. Gives us space to put a wine fridge in here, a selection of drawers, and then cupboards here for provisions and crockery. Upgrade on the generator, 17 and a half kilowatts. We'll run all the electric galley setup. As you can see on the top there, four burner hob. We have a proper electric meal oven there. Practical one and a half bowl sink there. Great for those of you that do like doing your cooking on board. Of course, a slimline dishwasher, making really good use of everything on the boat. Of course, we had the obligatory Sunseeker tea set. There's a set of Robert Welsh cutlery as well, and the glassware, as is synonymous with all Sunseekers. So then we come forward into the raised saloon area, and you can see here the fixed TV on the starboard side. It's a 55 inch LED unit there, say so linked again into a Sonos soundbar you can see down there. I can further upgrade that with ceiling mount speakers if you so wish. And opposite, this is the main internal seating space. So again, we have a carpet upgrade in here. We have fabric upgrades, say so being a special boat show boat, she is finished absolutely exquisitely. Loads of very cool LED lighting here above us. And you can see this beautiful eucalyptus wood, sort of tiger coat type finish, loads of stainless steel detailing. You can see everything from the base here to the handles around the cushions. It's a very, very practical boat as much as she is aesthetically beautiful to look at. So I've just sat down so you can scan around, get a feel for the space on board. Obviously large glass panoramic windows make it very bright and airy in here, even with the lights off and some great neutral colours in here. Minor boat dressings here for the show, but the majority of what you see is included on the boat at handover. So here is the lower helm, as we mentioned upstairs, we're part of the Simrad Premium Pack. This one has two 16 inch NSS Evo 3S displays downstairs here. We have also the iPad mini, which is running the Sonos system. And again, things like the wireless charging. Our CM8 monitoring panel, we've done lots of look tours around these before, but this is AV, uh, sorry, AC and uh, tankage, alarm systems, etc., for the monitoring on the boat. And across here, a mirror image of everything we saw upstairs. Again, a joystick control, a lower helm window here, making docking on not such nice days where you have to drive from inside a little bit more straightforward. Beautiful helm seat here, again, with that lift up bolster cushion. So you can see we've got a bit of working floor space here at the moment. And if I just drop that down and sit at the helm here, now, again, you're in my absolute eye line to see what, as a captain, you get to view through the windscreen. Our boat's running European spec aircon, which will reverse cycle to give you heating as well as required. So she is practical to use here in the UK as well as down in the med. Uh, I can retrofit a diesel heating system if you so wish. 
uh, a main electric switch panel worth noting just for those of you owner operator want to know the practicalities all your breakers on the panel here saying a little bit of digital switching from that panel on the dash and then of course the main battery switches as with most sun seekers are in the cockpit when you first come on board so down the stairs here central companionway lobby and we have three cabins so we'll start with the vip guest cabin this is cabin number two on the boat up forward nice center line double bed as you see there and then across port side here we have a wardrobe we've got some drawers high level cupboards either side you can see we've got the mesh mosquito screen in there at the moment so that's reducing a little bit of light in here and the dimmed leds above us here again feature lighting in the ceiling like we saw up in the saloon earlier uh, over on the other side say so more cupboards and what have you i'm not going to go into too much of that as we have done say plenty of these before but we do have an av system in here again that huge led samsung tv there we've got the sonos system with the sonance speakers across on this side so this is cabin number three or the second guest cabin configured as twin beds from the factory i can do some infill cushions in here to make occasional double if you so wish but they're typically supplied as you see here beautiful again led feature lighting up the end there we're on eu two pin sockets which i can change to uk if the boat was to stay local again wardrobe we've got some high level cupboards up there av system here and then across the hallway these two cabins as well as the day head these are all combined to give you effectively the second bathroom on the boat so this has jack and jill arrangement you can see the door there just behind the loo to uh, access directly from that forward cabin good size shower compartment soaker up in the roof there and that beautiful synthetic stone on the bulkheads uh, you have the handset of course there as well as the soaker in the roof which is a nice touch loads of cupboards for storage and what have you the boat is very practical and usable if you're going to be away for a few days at a time so coming down here we are going into the master stateroom important not to miss the heads here as we first come in so we've got again shower stall loo beautiful backlighting there on the mirror it's a lovely lovely finished boat i have to say so we step down a couple of steps here just beneath us into the full beam master you see lots of natural light coming in through the side windows even though we've got a boat alongside us center line bed one and a half meters wide there loads of cupboards storage we've got a safe in here for valuables opening port light there up on the bonded side window as well as the aircon system very neutral tones in here very modern boat uh, we have an upgrade on this side with the two seats and the breakfast table there and then we have a 55 inch led tv there again with the sonar soundbar storage cupboards beneath just scan round so you can take in how much space it's very quiet in the boat here engine bulkhead is just behind us here the fuel tanks are wing tanks on these just over 2200 litres these hold so let's head back up we'll finish off in the engine room Morning. so access through the cockpit sole here center line hatch you'll notice no thresholds on the door here so this is actually get asked all the time what these are that's a deck drain for any water that was to come down the side decks to protect obviously the interior uh, so this will probably be full of bits and pieces as we're here at a boat show but if we climb down here just finish off with a look around beautifully finished as with all sun seekers on the mechanical electrical side you can see the best kit in terms of electronics so victron charging systems there practical things like the wash down hose hot water tank up on the side there uh, we have 600 litres of water on board i would suggest for those of you down in the adriatic or staying on the hook for a few days perhaps adding an, a water maker system we can get 110 litre unit in here if required on a storage cage little service area here in the back for hydraulic systems for the passerelle platform etc there's the generator that goes up and outboard if those of you want to retrofit a sea keeper which then drops into the slot here so it's a relatively straightforward retrofit around seventy thousand pounds 
to do here in the UK with the main Seakeeper dealer. So there we have it, it's pretty much the whole boat. Just back up the ladder here. So if you'd like to know more about this particular one, say she is currently available, asking price is just under 1.7 million pounds X tax as you see her. Apart from a name, safety kit and a tender, she is pretty much loaded up and ready to go. Contact details as always, it's james at sunseekersouthampton.com or mobile is plus four four seven seven four seven six eight six five eight seven. Hope you've enjoyed the look around with us today. Plenty of time still to get down here to the show and see the boat in person. And if you'd like to know any more, please do get in touch.